Good evening and welcome to Jobek TV News. I'm Deva Jomate with the news updates. PIC inquiry adjourned. Two in court over resurrection fraud. And protesters take service delivery demands to Lutuli House. The Commission of Inquiry into Public Investment Corporation will resume on Tuesday, the 23rd of April. Former CFO of IO Technologies, Nahid Kamaldin, has already testified. And on Tuesday, Harith General Partners CEO, Tepo Matloele, claimed that the testimony presented by UDM leader, Bantu Olomisa, has caused the company major reputational damage. Two people are expected to appear in court in connection with the controversial resurrection saga. Brighton Elliot Moyo's miracle resurrection took place in February, and a video of the event went viral. Reports of Moyo's death are doing the rounds in Zimbabwe, but police in South Africa are waiting for his death certificate after a full investigation from their Zimbabwe counterparts before they can close the investigation against them. Representatives from various parts of Gauteng took their grievances to Lutuli House today. This follows a series of service delivery protests in the province. Demonstrations started in Alexander two weeks ago, and the group is demanding political intervention. And now to your traffic and weather updates. Thank you, Tibato. Let's take a look at your traffic updates. At Vidgopen Road, there are traffic lights that are not working correctly at Archer Road, therefore expect delays. On Main Reef Road, there's congestion causing traffic through the city west area. And lastly, on Boxburg on the N12, there's an accident crash before the Rundebold Road exit, causing heavy traffic. Moving on to your weather updates, Johannesburg at 25 degrees Celsius, Soweto also at 25 degrees Celsius, and Boxburg at 23 degrees Celsius. That is it from the traffic and weather updates. Back to you, Tibato. And that is it from the rest of the Jobek TV news team. Goodbye.